Hi, I'm Paris, and yes, it can be difficult in this pandemic year to shop for a meaningful Valentine's gift. What can you really get to show someone how much you care about them? Maybe a dose of the vaccine. This coupon entitles the bearer to one dose of Moderna. Yeah, good luck managing that. In an ordinary year, I'd probably go to a couple different department stores and wander around the aisles until something caught my eye, and yeah, I think she'd really like that. But until I get my dose of the vaccine, I won't be going out and doing that, so it means shopping online. It's really not the same. But after a week of working on it, I have finished my Valentine shopping, so I thought I'd tell you about my thoughts on it and show you the items that I got for my wife for Valentine's Day, just in case that may help you out. First of all, you are going to need preferably a romantic card. The funny ones are okay, but um, to, to be on the safe side, get something romantic. So you need to have a nice card, you need to have some flowers. Now that can't be the gift. That just lays the foundation for Valentine's Day. Those you cannot skip, but you're gonna need something more. So what does your partner really want in a Valentine's gift from you? I don't think the gift matters so much, unless they told you about something they really like, then you better remember it. But that's just part of what they really want, which is they want to know that you're making some effort, that they're your significant other, and that you still find them significant enough to put the effort into finding a nice gift for them. Now, if they told you a couple months ago about something they really wanted, the effort is remembering that and having that gift for them. If they gave you no clues whatsoever, which is my case this year, you're gonna have to find something that you really think they would like. And that means not going for the easy outs, the perfume for the woman, the cologne for the man. Find something, unless there's a particular scent or you do something where you actually create the scent for them, there's ways to make it more unique and to show you put the effort in, but to just grab something at the local Walgreens the night before Valentine's Day and it's a bottle of perfume and some beat up flowers and a funny card <laughs> rather than a romantic one, not gonna fly. So here are the gifts I decided on. After a significant amount of online shopping, I ended up getting them both from Amazon. Last I checked, they're both still available with prime shipping. So if you're thinking, hey, that's a pretty good idea, feel free to borrow the idea. The links to both of these products are down below this video. First up, now the bath bomb is a nice idea, especially if you know some scents that your spouse likes, unless they don't bathe, which is to say, they don't take a bath. Um, we, in our master bathroom now, we have a walk-in shower. So my wife isn't a light the candles and put them around the edge of the bathtub and take a long hot bath kind of person. If your significant other is, then the bath bomb is a good idea. Now I didn't even know they had something like this until I did a review a while back of the Vicks Vapo Shower. It's a little um, hockey puck kind of thing that you put on the floor of the shower when you get in there and it releases the Vicks eucalyptus and mentholyptus smell to clear everything out and to help you feel better if you're suffering from the cold and flu. Well, a company has taken the aromatic bath bomb idea and turned it into shower bombs. These are actually called shower steamers by Clever Fee, and six aromatherapy fizzies are in this box. Now they have several different sets with different scents, and some of them seemed more leaning towards the eucalyptus and mentholyptus, which, which made me just think of that Vix one. So that didn't seem quite so romantic and nice to give as a gift, unless you're giving it to someone who's sick. I did like the combination of scents in this pack. You can see how it works here. You just take the little hockey puck thing out, throw it on the floor of the shower, put it where some water will get on it, but the water won't be spraying on it vigorously because it may not last the whole shower if there's a lot of water hitting it. So sort of towards the back of the shower where it'll get wet and it can give off the aroma, but you can get 15 or 20 minutes of it giving off scent. I can't open up the package and show you what these little shower bombs look like, but here you can see on the Amazon page. There are six different scents in this pack and they are lavender, peppermint, vanilla and sweet orange, menthol and eucalyptus, can't get away from that one, <laughs> a pomegranate and rose, and a lemongrass and coconut. Costs $22, and I see on their page that they still have free delivery tomorrow with Amazon Prime one-day shipping. Now, I can't tell you what the individual shower bombs will smell like, but the package overall, even wrapped in plastic, it has very strong scent and a very nice one as well. Find out more about this at the link down below the video. The other gift I decided on after careful consideration is a sampler pack of tea 
by mood. Now you're probably saying, well, that's not very romantic, depending on what the moods listed are. But no, this gift is one that I did put a lot of thought into because my wife does like drinking tea. She'll have two or three cups of tea a day, but she's sort of stuck in a green tea and chamomile rut. That's all she ever drinks. But I know she likes other teas, but she can't decide on one that she'd like to try. So this is a sampler pack and it's cute because it has the different moods, which you can see here, teas to help focus, to sleep, to reflect, to energize, to invigorate. And it's an interesting variety of teas, not anything too out there, but not teas that I think she's tried before. There is a chamomile, but it's a chamomile lemon. There are 40 tea bags inside, five for each mood. And the presentation is nice. Here on the top, each of the moods has perforations around it. So you can sort of punch that out and fold it up. So when you're interested in an invigorating tea, you can lift it up and take the tea bag out. Now, if tea isn't your partner's thing, maybe a coffee sampler pack or a beer sampler pack of some different micro brews. And there are all kinds of cheeses and meat sampler packs. Something that you eat or drink I think is nice. It's a delight for the senses. And creating some ambiance is a nice final touch for Valentine's Day, whether it's some lights, some candles, the low lighting, the music. It's sort of the finishing element to your Valentine's Day presentation. You start out with the flowers and the cards, you have the gifts, you have the ambiance. To start out on that right mood though, remember what I said about going for the romantic card rather than the funny one. I know the funny ones can be so cute, but stick with the romantic and maybe you'll be invited to share a coconut lemongrass shower. Find out more about these gift ideas at the links down below this video and I'll see you after Valentine's Day on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health, food, and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.